Hello and welcome to my training. My name is Chuck Holmes. Today we're going to do, do a great training on the 10 types of network marketers. These are the 10 types of people that I've ran into during my 17 years in this industry. I think you'll find this humorous, but I think you'll also find it educational and helpful. So first off, we are a crazy business. We are a business that is extremely difficult because we have to deal with people. People are great, but they can also be a huge source of frustration. Some people are good, some people are bad, some people you want to be around, other people you want to be away from as quickly as possible. So these are the 10 types of network marketers that I've met. The first one is the product enthusiast. And I love, love, love the product enthusiast. These are the people who join the company because of the products. Maybe as a wholesale customer, maybe as a retail customer, maybe even as a part-time rep. They just fell in love with the products they see the value in them, and they just want to tell everyone about it. I will tell you this right now. When you find these people on your team, treat them like royalty. Treat them very well. Never pressure them to do more with the business than they want to. You want happy customers, happy product enthusiasts on your team whenever possible. This is where a lot of your repeat orders come from, your residual income comes from. If no one's buying the products anyway, no one makes money. So product enthusiasts are a very important part of your team. Number two is the social club. Social club is typically the type of person, they already have a great career, maybe they have a family life, but they're just looking for more friends. And they see MLM as a great way to travel, to meet new people, to develop new friendships, to learn new skills. So they stick around, they're plugged into the training, they attend all the events. They don't normally do much with the business, but they're still a very important part of your team and they stick around in the industry and with your company, typically, typically because of the friendships that they built over a period of months or years. Number three is the MLM junkies. And you wanna avoid these people like the plague. You do not want to surround yourself with MLM junkies. These are the people kind of like a drug addict. They're always looking for their next fix. And while a drug addict might be looking for their next fix every few hours, a MLM junkie is typically looking for their next fix every three, four, five, six weeks in that range, every one to three months, pretty much. They are excited by the hype of a new opportunity. They're excited about the possibilities. They love the euphoria of potentially getting in early, getting something for nothing. But what you will find is what goes up must come down. And these people leave the business typically as quickly as they join the business. I've had some people, I've been with my company about four and a half months. I've had some people that I sponsored into my company that have already been in five or six different companies in the past 4.5 months. Now, if you expect anybody to take you seriously, you can't be an MLM junkie. Number four is the part-timers. And the part-timers are maybe, maybe 10% of your team, probably eight to 12%, somewhere in that range. These are the people who are busy, they have the family life, they have the career, but they want the residual income, they want some extra income and they'll work their business five to 15 hours a week religiously every single week. They are persistent, they are consistent, they have an all-in attitude, but they're doing the business part-time. These are a very awesome part of your team. These are the folks who will typically make 500 to $3,000 a month, and they'll maintain it for a long time because they're in it for the little money. They're using that money to get out of debt, to save for retirement, to invest, to improve their standard of living or other things. So part-timers are great. Never try to force a part-timer to be a full-timer. Just treat them well. A lot of your leaders will have started out as part-timers and then worked their way up. The next number five, which is the next one, is the go-getters. And the go-getters represent maybe one, two, at most 3% of your team, probably just one or 2%. These are the people with the big personalities. They catch the vision. When they first learn about the opportunity, they really see what's poss possible. They're all in, they're excited, they're out retailing and recruiting every month. They're coachable, hungry, willing to work. They're duplicating themselves and they're working their business 30, 40 hours a week on top of their day job because they're a go-getter, get they get things done. These are the people you jump with joy when you find them on your team because they are very, very rare. But these folks, couple folks like this and life becomes really good for you in network marketing. So you wanna to strive to be a go-getter first and then hopefully you'll attract some of these people into your business. Number six 
are the network marketing professionals. These are the people who have chosen to do network marketing as a career. They are a very, very rare breed, even less than the go-getters. And they are the people with the skills, the contacts, the credibility. They've already been trained from their experience in previous companies. They've got the right mindset, the right skill set, and they just take off from day one when they join your business. Almost always, or definitely always, they have previous network marketing experience. They're trained, they're competent, and they just run with it. They're extremely self-sufficient. They don't need you for anything. They're like a dream come true when they show up in your team. Number seven, the big talkers, non-producers. And I really hope for your sake, you never come across one of these people, but I know you will because I stumble upon them all the time. And these are people who have been very successful in the past in network marketing, maybe 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, maybe even three, four years ago. And they tell you about all the things they did in the past and you get very excited about them. But then they join your team and they do absolutely nothing. And the problem with these people is when a new person signs up someone in this category and then that person quits, they start to think the business model doesn't work. So if I'm a brand new distributor, my name is Mike, and I sign up Tony who's telling me he's going to kill it, he's going to crush it, he's done all these things in the past, and I get excited, and then he just goes and quits the business and never sponsors anyone, I'm going to think, because I haven't been trained properly or I didn't know or I was ignorant, that the business model doesn't work because here's someone who was successful in the past, but they didn't do anything in my opportunity. So you have to really be aware of these people because they can wipe you out of the business. Number eight, the amateur. This is for the most part where everybody starts when they first join the business. They're an amateur. They don't know what they're doing. They're ignorance on fire. They don't have the skills. They don't have the right mindset. They don't necessarily have the right attitude. They're dabbling with the business. They don't know how to answer objections or questions. Uh, they know very little about the company. They treat their business like a hobby rather than like a business. I have found that everybody, for the most part, starts out in this category, and then they quickly go into one of the other nine categories uh, within a relatively short amount of time. Number nine is the con man. Now, here's the truth. Every industry, even religion, has good people and bad people. You probably already know that. The beauty of our industry is the bad people. They normally get weeded out pretty quick because this is a volunteer army. No one has to follow anyone. So if someone truly is a con man or a con woman, they're going to be revealed pretty quickly and people are going to avoid them like the plague. But these are the folks who will say anything or do anything to make a quick dollar. They don't care about their team. They don't care about anything but themselves. They, they do not have their people's best interest at heart. They mistreat others. They're unethical. They'll say anything. I've met a few people in this category in the 17 years, but not many. I mean, there's some in our industry, but they get, like I said, they get filtered out pretty quickly. And they normally get terminated or blackballed or something because they say good news travels fast, but bad news travels faster. And I definitely believe that after all these years. Number 10 is the hype man. Uh, he or she is kind of like the promoter at a club. They're hyping up the party. They're hyping everything up. They're the pitch man. So here's the truth. Like the con man, the hype man gives our industry a very bad reputation. They promise people easy money, get something for nothing, just sign your name, I'll build your team for you. You can sit back, get rich, collect that money without doing a thing. These people, they normally fall into the MLM junkies category. Not always, but a large percentage of them do. The only real difference is that they use a lot of hype with their prospects. So if you are someone using hype, I would encourage you to stop doing that. You can be enthusiastic, but make sure it is filtered, make sure it is contained, and you don't ever want to make false promises to your prospect. That's why people quit. That's why people get mad at the industry because they were either hyped up or they were given false expectations about the possibilities of our industry. So these are the 10 types of network marketers. My challenge for you is to evaluate yourself in each one of these categories and figure out where you're at right now and then see what you can do to slowly work your way up to a network marketing professional because this is where the money is at being a network marketing professional and no one starts out in that category i didn't it took me over 12 years to get to that point uh, a lot of people for most people it's probably going to be two to five years to become a network marketing professional 
takes time because you got to develop the skill set, the mindset, the attitude, but this is where the big money is made. But it's okay if you're in one of these other categories, you just want to evolve. And I will tell you this, if you're a junkie, I would challenge you just to leave the industry uh, and go do something else. And if you are a con man, please just leave the industry and go do something else because there's no reason to try to deceive or lie or mistreat people in this industry or any other industry. Our industry is good enough. We don't need to use any kind of false pretenses to make it sound better than it really is. So I hope you got some value out of this. I hope you'll evaluate yourself in each area. You can check out the link below this video or below this podcast to learn more about it. I appreciate you taking your time to hang out with me today and learn new things. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.